Previously on the Winkler Big Break. The boys took to the putting surface to see what their talents were like from 20 feet. Many of them hit the middle of the cup, but some of them did not, including Matty Fair missing all three of his attempts to move safely to the next round. In the elimination, it was Matty Pytown Fair saying farewell. It is a new week, it is a new challenge. The boys of summer head to the ninth fairway where they will face 100 yard pitch shot. It will be the closest to the pin competition. The bottom four will go to the elimination showdown. And here we go folks, welcome back to another edition of the Big Break. No better way to start it than Benny the Jet Plett. Yes, he is the partner to Walter Thiessen, also here in the big break. A 100-yard shot from Benny. You can see the red mark there for indicating the 100-yard marker. And this is, this is a good one by Benny. Oh, ho, ho, beautiful shot. Four yards away from the cup. I guarantee you he'll be moving on to next week. And what a way to start for Benny the Jet Plett. Up Darren Bickey Bickard, he actually sent to the elimination last week, however, beautifully escaped that uh, closest two pitch shot on the putting green, uh, which we saw none other than Matty Fair get eliminated. Biggie wearing the white pants here on this beautiful sunny day. Great pose up top there by Biggie. It's looking fairly good. Ooh, not bad at all, Biggie. Three feet from the cup. Very, very nice. Moving on, Father of the Year, Papa Vic Neufeld. Welcome to challenge number two. He too escaped the elimination last week. Wearing the black, wiping the hands off there. You see Papa Neuf possibly a little bit nervous. Nice little pack to swing there. And there it is, ooh, a little thin. A little thin there for Papa Noof, checking it, Ugh. nope, not having it, not having it at all. And he says, not safe at all, missed the green. So he more than likely, uh, actually likely to go off into the elimination again this week. And here's Yines Dell, still loving the sweater vest. Great swing, Yines, high lofted in the air. Uh, he's liking it, I think he's liking it, looks good. Yes, it is. 14 yards away from the cup. Moving on to one of the greatest short games around here in Winkler, Manitoba. Kevin Swiffer Wall. And yes, the favorite club or the choice of club here is the 56 degree. Uh, his 100 yard club uh, wiping it off there with great style. Great style by Kevin Swiffer Wall. And look at the handset and everything just looks so good right now over the ball. A slow backswing and great follow through. I think he's liking that. Ooh, maybe not. Oh, oh and it just falls off the green to the left. And Swiffer too, missing the green. So let's see if Mark Peters can do anything better. You got to keep your eye on him because he ain't practiced swinging anything. Here he goes. Oh. Oh, a little bit chunky. Looking off to the left again, wanting it to fade out, and it's not going to. So he too misses the green. And three straight characters, good characters of that, missing the green. So is that taking the pressure off of the, the other guys? Or we're going to see exactly here as Brendan Bones Newfelt doesn't want to do what his dad just did. Papa Newf is actually also his father as well. Uh, fancy that, of course but he too wants to just simply hit this green. It is amazing when the pressure is mounted on these guys' shoulders. A simple 100 yard pitch shot isn't so simple. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. His vomit on a sweater already, mom's spaghetti, but not here for Brandon Neufeld as he is only a six simple yards away and he is safe uh, for this week. Along with Biggie, Benny, Brendan, and John, these fellas are safe this week. However, 
heading to the elimination due to the missed green is Vic Neufeld, Kevin Wall, and Mark Peters. Still to come is Matt Richard, Timmy Walter, and Derek, and all they got to do is simply hit the green and they'll be safe. Something tells me I'm into something good. 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 And good days, we are back. Back and back at it here in episode two of the Big Break Winkler Centennial Edition. Next up is Matthew Laven Lowen. Just recently coming back from his university sting in St. Louis. St. Louis. Uh, many call it St. Louis, uh, but the original uh, pronunciation is St. Louis, the first lady, Louis, Louis Lincoln. Uh, not a real statistic but nonetheless beautiful stroke by Matthew Laven Lowen up in the air as well he likes it I think he wants it to get down a bit and it's good it is 17 yards away not his best but not his worst and he is on the green and essentially that's all you're gonna need to do with the number of guys that have already missed the green here's Richard Pauls and he like many others taking to this 100 shot nice Nice flow to that golf swing there. And a live shot here of Richard. Ooh, a little bit of Johnny English sucking that one back there. Richard is is he on? Ooh, that is that is right on the edge. I think he is on. He's looking at it. And yes, yes, he is on. Feels good about it because he is a great dude. 12 yards away, another look back, but yes, he is safe until next week's show. Tim Freddy Friesen was unable to make all any of the three putts from last week's show. He escaped the elimination. The only player from the left side of the ball, actually it's, it's interesting that you think about a left-handed golfer because he's on the right side of the ball. But nonetheless, here's Freddie, a good swing by Freddie. Oh, is he gonna hang on here? It's leaking a little bit. Uh, stay, stay, stay. Oh, and it does. Just missing the green. Oh man, too bad for Freddie going over the top. And last but not least, well not last but not least, because there's another competitor to go, is Walter Thiessen. And ooh, Shanky McShankerson. And not watching that one because it is into the drink. Poor Walter, not quite getting the lumber on it. And here is the final competitor, of course, Derek DQ Fraze. Least likely to win the event on the early Vegas favorites, but he does have a good short game and 100 in. That is a beautiful, beautiful shot. Liking the way it looks, and he should, because it's lined right in the middle of the green, 12 yards away. So that does it for the first part of this competition. The second results are in, and here they are. Darren Biggie Bickert leading the way with a 1.5 yards radius to the hole. Uh, he led all competitors. Benny the Jet, Platt, four yards, Brennan Bones, Derek DQ, Richard, John, Matty Laven Lowen, all safe, but there are five. There are five headed to the elimination challenge. It is Papa Noof, Tim Freddy Friesen, Kevin Swiffer Wall, Mark Peters, and Walter Down Spout Thiessen, who of course hit the drink on his first. Join us June 2nd at the Winter Centennial Golf Club for the 2013 Men's Open. And here we go. The Elimination Challenge. They're on the backside of hole number nine. There is 15 feet of elevation. And of course the pin is in the back. Now the guys are gonna need to go up and down as quickly as possible. The fewest strokes are gonna be safe. The one that takes the most strokes is going to be eliminated. And of course this is Swiffer's first time in the elimination. This being his second stroke, Swiffer gently, oh sorry about that folks, sorry about that Swiffer, uh, having to take out his own flag here and you know the nerves are mounting as we speak here. This is Swiffer's third, third shot. It is only two feet, there are no gimmies here folks. Swiffer's gonna need to put this in the heart and and often these can lip out on the north or south side. 
But that one is in the heart of the cup. Swiffer Wall gets the onlookers excited, raises his hand in a great look back to his fellow competitors there, saying, beat that. Beat that, Mark Peters, who's up next, using the 56 degree. And Swiffer's three. Oh, that's a good shot by Mark. Up on the green on his first shot. Um, and he's going to be looking here just as Swiffer did. Very similar to Swiffer's shot. Up on the fringe and a good shot. These guys are working on, on just about no green back there. And, uh, you know, Pete's not going to be taking any putting stroke uh, practice because he doesn't need it. And he gently lays it up. So interesting play not to attack that pin. He, too, is uh, going to take a three. And he looks confident about it. But both of those gentlemen right now are in the elimination spot. If we do have two guys tied in this event, we will go to an elimination showdown. And here's Papa Noof. Oh, got oh. underneath it. Go, go. Oh, just about. And this is Papa Noof's second time in the elimination challenge. So here's his second shot. Ooh, bit of a stub. Not excited about that. And now he must make it. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't ma make it, and he's about six feet by. Here's his fourth. Needs it. Ooh, slipped it inside door. And Papa Nooth with four. He right now is in the elimination spot. So Kevin and Mark both safe. Here's Freddie. He too is in the elimination challenge last week where Matty Pytown Fair was the one to exit. And a little pressure taken off of Freddie as simply needs the two putts for immunity of this week. Uphill putt. Going to be running to his right. A nice stroke by Tammy. Oh, he's burnt it by. He's burnt it by. Not excited about that at all, Freddie is. And oof, that is a tester to say the least. Freddie, Freddie Friesen. Going to take a good hard look at this one because he must make it. If he does not make it, well then, he is in a two-way tie with Papa Noof with four, and he's got his heart pumping. There's no doubt about it, folks. Now Freddie left himself with a downhill bender to his left. Freddie known for a great short game. He's going to need to make this. The agony. short stroke in heart of the cup great job Freddy and yes a sigh of relief as he is safe he is safe until next week so Papa Noof is the only one in dangerous territory here's Walter Thiessen Walter Thiessen made his first putt last week he has not experienced the elimination challenge thus yet but he must make a three or less and ooh, he got it heavy I think it's let's take a zoom in there yeah it is on the rough, still short-sighted himself. Not exactly the start he wanted. The onlookers, of course, willing a, ooh, no, and a bit of a chunk. So now Walter is in a familiar position to Papa Noof. He needs to make this to avoid a tiebreaker. He is just 11 feet away. The making percentage on this one is only 33% for Walter. Known for the long drives, not the flax. So here we go. Go, 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 go. Oh, and Walter. Walter downspout is going to knock this one in for a four. And not too pleased. You can see the shake of the head. Not happy about that. But ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the elimination challenge results. So we have Kevin Wall, Mark Peters, Tim Freddy Friesen, all getting in safely with three shots. They are on to next week's show, but it's Papa Noof and Walter Thiessen facing off in the Elimination Showdown here in week number two. Ladies and gentlemen, one of these two men will go home and go home sad. It is a closest to the pin challenge now. They all have one shot, whoever's closest, is safe and moves on to next week's show. Oh no! Uh -oh. Walter has scalded it up and over the green and he's put it into the water. Unbelievable turn of events. 
And now all Papa Noof has to do is simply get it closer than Walter, essentially put it in play. And here's Papa Noof. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! He is sculpted as well! Folks, we are gonna take a zoom in here to see if Walter. Safe! Oh no, he's safe! Papa Noof inches away from the water. Sheer heart attack here for Papa Noof in the black, but he is safe, folks. And he will be moving on. It is Walter Thiessen, sadly, leaving the big break show here in week number two. Next time on Winkler Big Break, the boys of summer take to the 18th green. The event, pick your poison. Pick who you play against in a sand bunker shot. The closest two moves on while the other one goes to the elimination challenge. This and more coming next week on The Big Break. Until next time, g'day.